Its sheer size astounds you. A ceiling that seems to reach for miles without end. Glass elevators zoom up and down, silently passing each other. The light pouring through the ceiling inspires you. The music echoing through all 47 floors sounds of wonder and discoveries. Yet the concrete walls make you feel cold and small. You can't help but get the feeling that you're totally alone. This is brutalism, and this is the hotel of the modern age. Released on Bandcamp on February 10th, 2018 by artist Hallmark87, Atrium is a dark and droning ambient mall soft album. Atrium on Google is defined as an open roofed entrance hall or central court in an ancient Roman house, though we will leave that part out. And when going through Google images, you can find buildings that fit the definition very well. Same with the Atrium album. The only difference is that compared to these other buildings, it seems to show no roof, no end whatsoever. The album cover is a relocation, which is the Marriott Marcus in Atlanta, Georgia, which as well fits the atrium description, which shows just how strikingly beautiful and elegant these locations can be, but with the album, it kills that lively image. Atrium expands for so long, somewhat fitting the image of a purgatory. Even with the empty, dead place you have arrived in, you can't help but enjoy the atmosphere finding peace within it. The album allows you to paint a different picture, however, since tracks like Inspired are a lot more hopeful and brighter compared to the main feel of the album. Like you just skyrocketed all the way to the top, to the main source of light, but you are soon enough brought right back down to the bottom. Other than that, you feel trapped, but at ease. And I think it is because of this we can now move on to the younger sibling of Atrium, Academy. Sharp angles, sheer black concrete walls, no natural light, and not a single person to be found. The occasional sound of footsteps, quiet chatter, or an old telephone ringing were all I could hear. It was the scene of what seemed like a dystopian horror film, but instead, it felt calm and inspiring. Like somewhere beyond those atrium walls, in classrooms and laboratories, breakthrough discoveries were being made. And so I stayed for hours, just taking in all the sights and ethereal reverberated sounds. But as the day came to an end, the academy transformed. Everything was fading to black. As the last bell rang, it seemed as though I was the only person left. All the students and professors had left their labs, and I was stuck in a dark atrium with no way out. Released on Bandcamp on June 1st, 2019, Academy is the perfect sequel to Atrium, which gives you a fresh new setting while still maintaining the dark and lonely atmosphere. Academy is a lot more obscure as compared to Atrium, which is somewhat unfortunate since you can't even find it on YouTube. Yet, because of this, I can't help but feel more attracted to it because of that reason. As a Bandcamp user puts it, this time you have overcome the initial fear and intimidation heard in Atrium and fully commit to exploring the building. The Academy stretches on for just as long as the Atrium did, but there is more to find here, more to explore. Much more has happened at the Academy, and whether or not it shows itself then and there, its past remains in the aura of the building, which can be backed by several short interlude tracks such as Digibell and Scale, representing life and discovery that it once had. The Academy reels you in and encourages you to take your time looking for what it has to offer, even if it takes an eternity for you to understand. This terrifyingly beautiful duo put you in such an eerie yet calm setting that you can't help but seek the beauty out of. The album covers have a low resolution and an intimidating display for what you can see, perfectly representing how the albums feel from a certain standpoint. You get the best view, yet you can't help but not understand what is beyond the art. These two are part of the Brutalist series, which is named after what both audio portrays, but also how unique the structural design is. I've actually been seeking for something such as so, and a possible name for it, so I may or may not go into more depth about Brutalist architecture in the future. But with that aside, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you on the other side.